and welcome back to my channel. So today in celebration of Canada Day here in Canada, I figured it would be appropriate and also just fun to do a full face of beauty products using all Canadian makeup brands. So I have five different Canadian makeup brands that we are going to be highlighting, demoing, and playing around with today. So if you're interested in seeing me create a look using all Canadian makeup, then just keep on watching. The first brand that I have to try products from is Lise Watier. This is a prestige, higher-end makeup brand that is Canadian that's sold in Shoppers Drug Mart. Then I have four products here from Annabelle. I have two lip products and two eye products. Annabelle is actually a sub-brand of Lise Watier or Lise Watier owns Annabelle. So Annabelle is its own brand, has super, super cute products, and I feel like it's a good Canadian drugstore brand that I should highlight more on my channel. So I picked up four new products from Annabelle to play around with. Then I have two products from Marcel that is also owned by Lise Watier. So again, Marcel is its own brand. They have a lot of skincare stuff and I decided to pick up a mascara and an eyebrow pencil from Marcel. So we will be trying these out. And then of course I have three products from Quo Beauty. Um, Shoppers Drug Mart has their own in-house brand called Quo Beauty and they just redid their entire line and released a bunch of new products. So I have a full video testing a ton of their new products. I will have it linked in the eye above as well. I have their foundation, concealer, and brow gel to use in today's video. These are new products but I have tried all of them and seriously love all three of these so we're going to be using these today. And then the brand that I'm kind of cheating with is MAC Cosmetics. MAC Cosmetics Cosmetics was created in Canada, actually in Toronto, which is really cool. I believe Lee Swatier, Marcel, and Annabelle are all based out of Montreal. And then I'm not sure about Quo Beauty. I can't really find any information on them online, on the brand itself, and like where it's created. But yes, MAC was founded and created by Canadians in Toronto but it is now managed and distributed out of New York, I believe. We are going to go in with their liquid foundation. This is, it doesn't have a lot of claims on it. It literally just says eight hour wear. You get 40 milliliters in here really durable, good packaging, and all of Quo Beauty is cruelty-free and 100% vegan, which I love. It's such a good, like, option to have in the drugstore because I know a lot of drugstore brands, especially Canadian drugstore, aren't cruelty-free. All I can really think of is CoverGirl. Having Quo Beauty as an option is definitely nice. I am going to be using my Quo Beauty sponge as well. I will link that down below also, and my foundation is in Porcelain N1. So I've been playing with this foundation foundation since I posted my review probably like a week and a half ago two weeks ago now and I really really like it it has more of just a natural finish I guess and then I love a good natural foundation because you can kind of customize the finish based off what primer you use and like if you set with powder but you can see that the coverage is just like so natural and nice my skin is definitely not its best right now which is rather unfortunate but I've been really liking this foundation and I actually have really been enjoying this sponge as well especially this like big flat side I really really like it for doing my foundation I'm not super into this side because the tip isn't precise enough to get in my under eye area but you can see that one little drop kind of is working all over my face. It little goes a long way. Here's how the foundation looks all blended out. I didn't do a ton on my forehead or like in between the brow area because that is my acne problem spot at the moment and I don't want to build up coverage and texture there. So I'm just going to go in with concealer to extra conceal those areas. Porcelain N1. So this is the same shade as the foundation, but it's a little lighter. I guess they made the concealer and the foundation to go together in that sense. I've been loving this concealer as well. It blends out really nicely. The coverage isn't like insane. It's definitely a more natural finish, but if you want it especially for under eye concealing, it's really, really nice. Going ham with concealer because my skin is shit at the moment. Now going back in with the beauty sponge from Quo and blending that in. I just really love those two products together. They're so, so nice. Highly recommend. 
Now we are going to go in with powder. I'm going to be using my favorite powder ever, ever, ever. This is MAC Studio Fix Powder. NC15 is my shade. This is my go-to. It's just so beautiful. It adds such nice coverage. I'm just using a fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. I just do it in a padding motion with a big fluffy brush as I just showed. It really does help to blend out other powders on top. When you put down a slight layer of powder like this, it really helps to blend out blush, bronzer, contour, highlight, and make it look a lot smoother. So I just love doing this. I don't do it every single day. Sometimes I don't set with powder at all, but especially if I'm going out or I just want like a smooth, flawless face or if my acne is bad, I reach for this powder. It's so, so good. Definitely my favorite, like can't live without product from MAC. Here's how the skin is looking all set with powder. Super smooth, flawless. That's why I love that powder. Doesn't look cakey, doesn't look dry, but we're looking very flat. So we're gonna go in now and add some definition. I've never tried this product before. I went to shoppers and I asked the um, woman working in the cosmetics department what the two most popular Le Swatier products are, face products at least, and she suggested the Havana bronzing powder as one of them. So this packaging is so gorgeous. This is one of Lee Swatier's best-selling hero products. So they have this bronzer in light and in matte. This is just the classic. It has a bit of a shimmer to it, which I thought would be very pretty for summer. It looks very pretty. So I'm going to use the Sephora Collection Pro Airbrush 55, my favorite brush for powders or bronzer. All over bronze. Whoa, that is very pigmented. Ooh, that looks really nice. Okay, I think I understand why this is one of their best-selling products. It's such a nice tone and it's very smooth and buttery on the skin. Here's how the bronzer is looking on the skin. I'm honestly so impressed with this. It is so buttery and smooth and it's a really, really nice tone for me. I'm glad I didn't go with the light one. This one is gorgeous. Pretty pigmented, but not too like chalky at all. I didn't get any kickback in the pan at all. It's really nicely pressed. 10 out of 10 on this guy so far. I'm really excited about that. Now for highlight, I'm going to go in with a product that I know and love. This is the other MAC product that I have, so forgive me for these. They are made in Canada though, and they were founded by Canadians in Canada, so I feel like it's Okay, this is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. One of my favorite highlighters ever, ever. It's so, so pretty. It looks like I've like never used it, but I seriously use it all the time and I love this shade. So I'm gonna use the Morphe R36 brush and we are going to put this pretty much all over my face. You guys know I freaking love highlight. Look how pretty. This shade is gorgeous with that bronzer. I can just tell I'm gonna love that bronzer. So I'm going to highlight pretty well all over like I normally do. So, so pretty. It looks amazing with the bronzer. I'm very happy with that. Now we are going to go in with our second and last Lise Watier product. This is the blush. And again, I asked her what the most popular shade was and I like really pinky shades. I like a good shimmery blush and that is what it happened to be. So this is in the shade Libertine. It does come with a little brush, but I already threw it out. Very, very pretty like completely up my alley. I totally get why this is their most popular shade. It gives me like NARS orgasm vibes, but a little bit toned down. I'm into it. I'm gonna go in with my Luxie Large Angled Blush Brush. This is their 504. I am so incredibly happy with how that blush looks on my face. I did go a little heavy with the blush. That is my personal preference. You do you, but I like a heavy blush. This shade is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Love this. Love the bronzer. Definitely makes me want to try more from Lee Swatier. For brows, we have the Marcel Hypoallergenic uh, Nano Eyebrow Liner. This is a retractable pencil, extra precise, waterproof, natural finish, super long wear. This is in Fair Ash Blonde. They had a lot of shades in this, which I always appreciate. Typically with drugstore brands, you get like blonde, brown, black. So I liked that they had a more diverse shade range. So I went for the Fair Ash Blonde. 
um because i have been toning my hair a lot and i want it to have a more ashy vibe especially until i can get my roots and everything done Ooh, this feels really soft and creamy i actually hate doing my brows i just like never really enjoy how they look i don't love my brows i'm trying to grow them out and i just don't enjoy doing them so if a product is foolproof and i know it's gonna look good and it's easy that is what i want for my brows my hopes weren't high for some reason probably just because i don't like brows and i don't really care about new brow products or get excited for brow products looking really nice the tone is perfect for my hair. So impressed with this brow pencil. Um, it might replace all of the current high-end ones in my collection. Very precise. I love the spoolie. It's pretty like powerful and doesn't feel super flimsy. Pretty much all I could want in a brow pencil. So I'm very happy. Again, I don't have amazing brows, so don't judge. Now I'm going to go in with the Quo Beauty Brow Defining Gel in Blonde 36, which I've used and know that I enjoy. This one is a more... It looks very cool tone on the package, but it is a more warm toned brow product. Wow, you have to be super careful with this because it's a little bit wet and it's very pigmented. Do you see this pimple that is literally in my eyebrow? So infuriating. Um, this would be a good one and done brow product because it has a lot of pigment to it and it's easy, but you definitely need to be very precise with this guy because it's very pigmented. It'll probably start to dry out, get a little less wet and like insanely pigmented, but right now it's new and it's very, very pigmented as you can see. Brows are now done, so we are ready to go into eyes. I'm really excited about this because I purchased both of these kind of on a whim and I swatched them yesterday and they look absolutely gorgeous. I have the Annabelle Chrome Eyeshadow Creamy Single Eyeshadow 6 Hour Hold Intense Chrome Finish and this is in gold, although it looks to be much more of a champagne, especially when I swatched it. It's very bright champagne. And then for liner, we have the Annabelle Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner super long wear 24 hours and this is in bronze which i thought was really pretty you don't often see like a bronze copper liquid eyeliner so i thought that would be really pretty especially for summer first i want to go in with just a blender and the lee swatier bronzer on a super fluffy brush and just get a little bit of matte shadow in the crease super sloppily add this in just for like a little definition before we go in with that chrome shadow that's all we're gonna do with that bronzer so now i'm gonna go in with this annabelle chrome the shadow is not playing oh my god this is literally like a melted chrome i've never seen this texture in an eyeshadow before just like pressing on the outside to diffuse it a little around the edges i'm just gonna go back in with the bronzer a little bit try and blend the edges Okay, now I'm going to go in with the liquid liner. It is a stiffer tip and a little bit shorter of a brush than I'm used to working with. I think I am just going to do a small wing. Here is what the liner looks like. Um, they aren't perfectly even, but I did my best. I'm not a fan of this. This is the one miss of the video so far. It's actually burning my eyelids. I have very sensitive eyelids, so I'm going to be passing this on to my mom or a friend or something. It's just not working for me. Let's go ahead and try this mascara. Again, this is the Ultimate Volume Waterproof Mascara from Marcel. Do my best to really build this up and get some like chunkier lashes. I'm really into volume and thick lashes. I just think it looks really pretty. This mascara actually seems nice so far. It's a pretty wet formula, which I usually enjoy. I don't like a super dry mascara. Here is how the mascara looks. I was feeling very meh about it looking at it in person, but on camera it looks really nice. I found it hard to be precise on my lower lashes, so I probably wouldn't use it for that, but it does look nice on my upper lashes. Definitely adds that volume. Now we are going to go in with lips, which I am most excited about. We are doing a bright, bright pink fuchsia as 
I said, one of my favorite colors to wear for summer. So this is the Annabelle Big Show Gel Lip Liner in Fall for Fuchsia. So we are going to go ahead and line the lips fully with this guy. Super nice and creamy. It definitely feels very similar to the NYX Slide On Glide On liners. The liner is very smooth and creamy, but it does tug a little and it feels a little bit waxier than the NYX formula, if you are familiar with that. I had trouble lining like the inner portion of my lips just because it was um, like catching a little bit and it is just a little more waxy in texture. This is the Annabelle VIP lipstick. This is one of their newer formulas and this is in the shade Flamingo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over that liner. Ooh yeah, that feels super nice and creamy. I don't think for this video there's much sense going over every single product because I did pretty much like all of them. The two products that I'm kind of on the fence about is this Marcel Intense Volume Mascara. I'm like meh about. I think it's pretty, but I don't think it's gonna replace any of my favorites. Just on first impression, I'll keep trying it and let you guys know. And then the Annabelle Liquid Liner, unfortunately in bronze, I will be passing on just because it does irritate my eyes and they're like itchy and don't feel the best. I hope you all have or had an absolutely amazing Canada Day with your friends and family. And for those of you Americans watching, I hope Hope you have a amazing 4th of July coming up and I hope you have an absolutely awesome day. Bye!